everybody, it's Kyra on Fire, and today it's not your usual video, it's actually coming from a place of, well, stressed Kaya places, you know. Anyway, this is for PC with today's update, or whenever you're watching this, um, but it is about the infinite loading loop bug that got introduced in patch 3.0 and has been made worse in the next patch. Basically, this is going to mostly affect modded people, people who like playing with mods, aka me. Uh, and this video is going to be for those people who can't even launch their games today or launch their servers or play at all because of this damn stupid bug. And it's like 1am right now and I couldn't go to bed knowing other admins and server people and clients cannot play the game and are having problems all day and have probably had their servers saves destroyed by having to uninstall mods just to figure out how to launch their damn servers today i couldn't go to bed without letting people know that i have found a fix that should help you temporarily and i've been trying to spread the message as much as possible because this has worked for me and as you can see i'm on my own server i have mods and i've been able to log in after trying to get in all day because i wanted to record a video for the series and i haven't been able to because i've been fixing this damn bug all day <laughs> so i've been skipping between different discords whatever else just trying to get this to launch for the people on my own server and for people in the community trying to talk to them as well I, ugh, it's horrible really anyway i'm gonna get straight into this uh, uh, cut the crap because i'm really annoyed at the moment uh, i have a lot to say but that's not going to help you guys if i'm just being annoyed <laughs> anyway let's have a look into how to fix this i'm also going to leave a link to the infinite loading loop page that is a forum thread on funcom forums that people are updating constantly so if my fix doesn't work for you perhaps try something on here and hopefully it will fix it for you please consult the chapters in the video as well to move to certain sections because first i'm going to talk about server owners how to fix it your end because you have to fix it your end before your players join your server otherwise they will continuously get the same issue on their end so you have to fix it your end before people try and join otherwise it's not going to work whether it be dedicated or whatever server host you're with you could need to go into the fpt files as well uh, you might need to get filezilla for that is a really good free ftp and you might have to get that to be able to get into the files of your server because you need to get into the files of your server to fix this you're going to start by stopping your server you want to turn it offline and then once it's fully stopped running you're now going to either if you can access your files without having to go for ftp go to your server files or if you need to use an ftp log into ftp and then you'll be able to see the files from there uh, whatever host you have should explain how you get into your ftp usually you'll need the host name the ip the port and your password for ping perfect they've made it really simple love love ping perfect they're great anyway <laughs> you can just click on file manager if you're on ping perfect um and again you can get into your files via ftp if you're on a different host um but you want to do that and it's going to come up with a bunch of different files you can see and what you want to do from there just going to sort it uh, this way because it's a bit easier to see anyway what you want to do from there is you want to double click on conan sandbox open that up and then you're going to go to saved double click on that and then you're going to see this horrible little folder called mods cached you want to delete that folder get rid of it delete it hit that big red button remove it kill it <laughs> it's horrible once you've deleted it you can then go ahead and start your server back up and that will allow you to have the server up with no problems bear in mind though and i say this with a very serious annoyed face <laughs> every time you turn your server off every time you do a bod update every time you stop your server for any reason at all you will have to delete this folder every single time so yes it's absolutely horrible <laughs> but every time you stop that server you will have to delete that mod file get rid of mods cached it is the bane of existence 
and then you can start your server back up. So any updates you do, anything like that, it will prevent mods from updating properly. This is what this folder does. From what I understand, it stops mods updating correctly to the correct version. I've been seeing it on the Fashionist Discord all day that it was stuck in like 4.3 point something or other, and the up actual version was 4.4.4, but it wouldn't update for people. Only way to make it update is to delete that damn folder. When it comes to clients, it's a little bit more lengthy what you have to do here. If you are stuck boot looping or anything like that, uh, you can't load into the server, it keeps restarting your game, whatever it might be, this is the way I've gotten it to work. So, what you want to do is go to Conan in your Steam library. You want to go ahead and click on the cogwheel and then hover over manage and go to browse local files. Just a note here, make sure your Conan is not running when you do this. I'm just showing you for example here because I've already got it fixed and I don't want to log out of Conan right now because <laughs> otherwise I have to do things again. Anyway, what you want to do once you're in this in your local files and everything, you want to double click on Conan Sandbox and then you want to double click on saved. And then what you're going to do is delete this horrible folder here called Modest Cached. Delete the entire thing, just get rid of it. Just delete this folder right here, mods cached. Then once you've deleted that, what you want to do from there is scroll down to the bottom and then you're going to look for mod restart data JSON. Get rid of it. Delete that as well because I found not deleting it doesn't let me load the game properly. So you have to delete it. Once you've deleted mods cached and mod restart data .json, you want to go back into Conan Sandbox and then what you're going to do is go into the mods folder. Now, usually what sits in the mods folder is a file called mod list and it is a text file. You want to delete the text file. Once you've done that, you can go back in to Conan in your Steam library and then you want to go to workshop. And in your workshop, you want to hover over browsed, go to subscribed items and then you want to hit unsubscribe from all. Once you've done that, you can launch Conan back up again and you're going to want to connect to your server. So I recommend direct connecting to your server with a server IP and the server will install the mods for you on the page. It will take a while for this, especially if you have a slow hard drive or internet, it will take a while to install it. But once it's fully installed all the mods on your system from the server join page, the game will restart and then the game will load you into the server just fine after that. And then you can play like I'm playing right now. I will say though, do not do this until your server owner has given the OK, because if the server owner doesn't fix its server end first, you will get the same problem and you will have to do this all over again. You will continue boot looping because the server is not fixed. That's what happened to me. I had to fix both client and my servers before I could join properly. And I fixed my servers first and then I fixed my client. And now I'm in game and I can have a good time again. I really hope Funcom fix this really quick. But I couldn't go to bed knowing this was a problem for a lot of people. And it's just very stressful not being able to find a solution and having to go through lots of forums, trying lots of things, finding out it doesn't work when you have to do things in a specific order and have certain conditions for things to work. I've been trying all day. This is the only thing I've found that's worked for me. You could also try verifying your files, but I found reports from other people. They've tried, you know, they've tried uninstalling the entire Conan game and everything with it and it still doesn't fix the problem. I haven't uninstalled at all and I've got mine to launch again. But you have to get rid of that mods cached file on both your servers and your client before you can play. And remember for servers, every time there's an update or anything like that, every time your server goes down, you have to delete this folder because it will go back in again. So it's a very frustrating problem. I really hope Funcom fix it soon because I'm honestly disappointed it's still in right now. It should have been fixed very quickly, um, but it wasn't. So it's caused modders headaches all day and all of that. And it's just, I can't stand seeing it happen. This has been a problem since 3.0 has come out 
um, but it's just been made incredibly worse today for a lot of people. Funcom absolutely need to fix this and I'm hoping maybe this video can light a fire under their bum or something because players can't play their game that they bought. Like even I've heard some people having problems on official servers being able to join after today's update. It's ridiculous. And the people who support the game the most, like modders and stuff, I can't stand seeing their motivation being stomped on so hard like that because they're trying to fix a problem that they can't even fix that's not even their issue. Like, they've done what they need to do, update their mods and stuff as protocol follows, but the game is, like, stopping, you know, them, people being able to play their mods and stuff. And then, do you know where the backlash goes? It goes to those modders in their modders' discord. They get all the shit, like... <laughs> and I've seen people getting absolutely beat on today by people who can't join and they see that the the mod in general is saying it, it's like corrupted or something but it's not corrupted it's because it can't update properly because of the mods cache file and people go to that that modders discord and then they absolutely rain on them <laughs> how are modders supposed to enjoy modding for the game if they're just going to get mountains of shit for something like this and you can't blame the people either because it looks like it's the modder's fault, but it's not the modder's fault. It is the game's fault. And I can't believe, honestly, I'm having to make a video about this today. I My heart goes out to the modders who are putting all their love into the community and, you know, making it a really fun experience for a lot of us, like me, like a content creator. Mods have made this game live. I, I probably wouldn't be playing Conan anymore if it wasn't for mods mods of what have kept this game alive and everything like and it makes me really sad to see them having to put up with all this shit for so long like literally all day they've had to put up with this and they're probably going to put up with it all day tomorrow as well so i'm hoping this can help some server owners who've had a really bad day i'm hoping this can fix it for clients if you need a step-by-step -step guide as well in text, I'm going to put it in the description down below so you can just read it. And I really hope that helps. And if it doesn't, do check out those forum posts I put down. Maybe they will give additional updates on that. And I, I really hope this fixes it for you. Because, yeah, I was planning on doing a video today. Instead, I've been trying to fix the server all day. <laughs> so yeah and if you still can't figure it out by the way on how to fix the server then i recommend don't uninstall mods or anything like that don't do that because if you start it back up again you're going to lose all your progress and stuff it would be really bad especially if you have a mod like i do like a building mod if i started my server back up again without northern timber my whole house would disappear okay <laughs> like a apart from the roof my house would disappear so don't don't do that <laughs> it's not the mod it is literally the mods cache folder now if you do think it's the mod you can go ahead and delete the mod but reinstall it without starting the server so do it at the same time and that way you won't lose any information and stuff like that but i i don't recommend doing that at all just try my fix first before you go deleting loads of stuff and losing all your precious progress because i know people have done that and they've lost stuff today and it's just sad honestly uh, because it could have been prevented and rolled back um we didn't need this update <laughs> small patch we didn't need it um honestly uh, it's caused a lot of stress uh, i don't imagine modders find this enjoyable at all they had no warning whatsoever and they've just gotten shit on all day so i hope this video helps this is a cry from me um to fix it as soon as possible because server owners are going to have to delete this folder every single time and it's going to be a pain in the ass to join any games that are modded at all and modded is a massive part of the community okay it's what keeps it going um there are absolutely loads of people who play modded conan and they will not be able to enjoy the experience i will not be able to do my series if this bug is not fixed so we definitely need it fixed um and this is my outcry and i hope 
this helps some people that have been having a trouble all day because I can't stand seeing it like <laughs> I, I couldn't say nothing I, I want to help people so this is my video anyway I'm probably gonna go to bed uh, night.